Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome to the Town Hall. I trust that you can all hear and see me okay. We'll do those tests to get started. But, well, we're here. If this is your first time at a Town Hall, it's effectively a chance for you and me to hang out and have a good time. So, it sounds and looks good. Thank you very much for the heads up there, Duck. So yes, this is a this is a chance for us to just chill out for a while, hang out, have a good time, and um, yeah, yes. So first of all, here, it is a thing. I know it's a little strange at the moment, but you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's something. Uh, we are in quarantine here in New Zealand. We've been in lockdown for two weeks now. Um, we are going into our second two weeks now, and yeah, <laughs> we're, we're doing okay here. We're doing okay, as okay as we can be. I hope wherever in the world you are right now that you are okay. You're taking care of yourself and those that you care about and those that are close to you. So yes, that's true, Aeolin. Everyone does have strange here at the moment. Melon, I saw a message from you earlier on. Happy birthday in two hours. Well done. You made it through another one. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go ahead and just adjust some lighting really quick. We'll be right back. Just maybe a little bit too intense. There, that's a little bit more to my liking. I shouldn't be on fire. Ah, dear, here we go. So yes, this is a chance for us to hang out, for me to tell you about what's going to be happening on the channel in the future, what's happening on the channel right now, and for you to ask me questions about ongoing series and or future series, and just to, you know, have a good time. So yes, we do have a question here from Captain Twitch about whether Dusk ever knew if Elliot existed. And yes, I, I think she did. She did have a connection to him. Um, especially at the uh, at the start, um, we do kind of cover that. I think around the very very first episode of Dusk's Tale, which I was going back through the other day. We've we've uh, yeah we've had quite the journey with Dusk to get her to where she is at this point in game, and um, yeah, there's even more to explore. Uh, honestly. I think Cataclysm keeps on surprising me. It's one of those games that just keeps on giving, and I think it's easily my favorite. Um, out of everything that I have access to, all the games that I've played, Cataclysm is something that I will always come back to and just always enjoy. I, that I always have ideas for new characters and experiences that I want to have in the game, and I've been contemplating doing a video about Cataclysm. Less of a tutorial, but more of a... Hmm. I guess kind of like a how to play I I guess because I, I think a lot of people can learn how to play Cataclysm in terms of the mechanics but then we'll get a little bit stuck as to like what the next step is where to go from there or even where to begin with it because I mean understanding how a game works is is one thing <laughs> understanding how to interact with it but then how to actually go about that kind of day-to-day -day in game is uh, something a little different Grayson Davis, thank you very much for the super chat. We'll see if Janet is awake. Really been enjoying the daily dose of dusk, so here's some money in these tough times. Thank you very much, Grayson. Heavily appreciate that. And yeah, I I'm really enjoying bringing the daily dose of uh, of dusk as well. It's a lot of fun. So yes, there we go. Ireland, I'm happy to hear that you're well. You're okay. I know that you're unwell, but at least it's not. Uh, Yes, at least it's not the worst at this stage. Sleeth, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for your super chat there. People don't think it really be like that, but it do. Why is that? Your blonde look is knicker, but Trident's sexy knee will always have my heart. Sure, sure, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, poor Triton's on a, on a horrible work schedule at the moment. Um, yeah, he's classed as essential services, so he's having to do a 4 a.m. to 12 p.m. shift. So that's a tough one. That is a tough one. Yeah. I, I'm glad that uh, you've been able to learn from Dusk's tale. Nanania, thank you very much for that super chat. Happy Easter. I got a fever in my egg, 
crying face. That's not so fun. <laughs> I hope you feel better and I hope Buster's doing okay as well. Flopkin, I'm glad that you um, appreciate those uploads. It's got to be a, a hard time for you. I can't even begin to imagine how much work is um, involved. But um, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Kira. Um, I keep thinking that it's the end is just around the corner, but not yet, seemingly so. Just staying on top. <laughs> Thank you, Sleeve. Much appreciated. And Janet, it's kind of strange. <laughs> Michael Reed. Thank you very much for the super chat. Here we go. Because one penny more dab. Thank you for dabbing, Jenna. I appreciate you trying. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I agree with Keitha. Thank you, Flopkin, for your service that you're providing. Hmm. So yes, I, I think from what I can see, there'd be a little bit of interest in um, a how to play Cataclysm. I guess rather than a tutorial, more of a how you go about it. Thank you, Sleaf. <laughs> it's going off, it's going off. Oh, uh, Mumbles. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Multipole. Multipole. I'm glad that you've been able to get through Skyrim. I've actually seen quite a few people jumping onto the series recently, and I'm guessing it's because, well... Come at me, bro. <laughs> a lot of us are at home. Uh, Zinko. Will I be uploading D&D &D videos to continue the, continue the series? Yes, I will. Okay. All right. I will get to that in just a second. I think Janet's going to start getting really confused. <laughs> Pringles, thank you. Ben, thank you. Sleep, thank you. I'm glad you could make it to the town hall as well there, Ben. Thank you, thank you. Grayson, Michael. <laughs> Don't get <Thank> me started. <laughs> Poor Janet, you're gonna you're gonna break Janet. You're gonna break Janet. Oh, dear. I wonder if the text to speech can beat box. <laughs> ah boom boom chicky chicky boom boom chicky chicky boom chicka tea chick chicka tea boom boom boom. Choco chicky chacky choo choo. Zip zap whoopy tea bap. Very good, very good. It's more like jazz scat or you know, a little bit more than uh beatboxing. The war is on. But... Oh boy, oh boy. So, we will see. <laughs> oh dear. First time in months mm -hmm. I've been able to catch a proper town hall, so know, here's Janet. some good cash to celebrate. Ben, it's appreciated. Oh dear me. Well, we're getting through them. We're getting through them at this stage. Uh, so the... Also, any news mm -hmm. on Seeking Sovereign Guard? Seeking Sovereign Guard. Not at this stage. But soon, maybe. I do have a Skyrim project in the works. Shh, Riken, this is about us now. Birthright. Thank you very much. Oh boy, yeah, I should just go get a coffee. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Why not? Here you go, Riken. Ah, uh, dear. Yes, so, Zinko, D&D, you'll be happy to know that we actually do have a really decent backlog. Um, we started recording about six months before the first episode released. So, while episode six has released, We've recorded up to episode 12, so, yeah. We've, we've got some in the bank. We've got some in the bank. Um, I, we are going to keep releasing them just every fortnight because, believe me, it is a monstrous edit. Um, sleeve. Thank you. Ah, oh dear. But, yeah, it, it's a, it's a lot to get through. Sit there quietly and take our money. So the Less than three. The last, um, the last episode that just came out, um, it was, uh, it was a fair, fair edit to get through. A th it took me most of the week, but um, we got there in the end, and that's why it is fortnightly because there's quite a, there's quite a bit involved in editing it. Uh, for one, each of them are around about five to six hours, so that's at least five to six hours of watching the material back. But then there's adding in additional sound effects, music graphics, removing little bits and pieces, shifting things around. It's still pretty involved, so yeah, but we have more on the way, and we do have more coming next weekend, so you have that to look forward to on your Sunday and or Monday. No, Sunday or Saturday. Yes, it releases Sunday in Australia and New Zealand. 
so yeah there we go uh melon uh it is currently 9 13 a.m here in new zealand and it is easter sunday so happy easter wherever you are in the world if you're celebrating or not um yes Keitha, your Zealand playtest went amazingly well. You swear people are using loaded dice these days. I mean, sometimes luck's just on your side. Um, yeah, we've we've actually been running a little bit of Zealand um, during this break, uh, not not recorded, but um, just a continuation of a uh, a one shot that is going to be coming out on the channel soon. I've decided not to post it right at the moment, just because of how how things are in the world. <laughs> Um, but you will be getting that very very soon it is called red eye and it takes us back to the start of the apocalypse and just one of the various different scenarios that are, you know is from the zealand book something that i was really looking forward to actually trying to play and uh well here we are uh gage how is the dishonored series coming along well it's it's up here in my mind and i really want to get it out but you know what can you do michael thank you very much for that super chat I'm glad you like the shirt. It's one of my favorites. I don't get to wear it as much as I would like at the moment because, well, haven't really been going out. And sometimes the dice just want you dead. I've been there, LOL. That is that is very true. That is very true. Nick, who plays Mason on Ritual Cast, can attest to that. He's got some of the worst luck I've ever seen. The worst and best luck. I guess it's two sides of the coin, right? But, yeah. <laughs> And then poor Dan in Zealand is having a rough time at the moment. So, yeah, there's that as well. Oh, dear. Sleaf. Thank you, thank you. Ken of Pringle. Prank Ken. I don't know why I called you Ken. Pringles. I'm glad you're wearing that shirt, huh? Hmm. Janet? No. Neat. Neen. My spot. Yeah, yeah, Erlen, I I decided it was probably better for us to just hold off that for a little bit, a little bit. Um, Captain Twitch, it can seem really hard, um, and it can be, especially starting off. Um, and the reason being is that in most zombie fiction, the world is dead. Uh, the majority of the population has disappeared somehow. We don't know how. <laughs> Most of them, you assume, have been eaten by zombies. Um, if it was easy to survive, then more people would have survived. And that's what's really difficult, is that starting off, um, you have to think more like prey than the predator. My girlfriend says, wow, looking good, Juan <laughs> Reagan. Thank you, Barnacle. Thank you. Um, Aaron, thank you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Jill Sandwich. Janet, you're doing a fine job. Birthright Sleeth. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to have to turn off text-to-speech, but, you know, I do appreciate it all the same. I really do. I really do. But yes, it is It is difficult, uh, and it really is meant to be difficult starting It's my off. war, and I'll chat if I want to ban. <laughs> Oh dear, it's, it, Janet's catching up. Yeah. I this do. is for Janet putting in extra work. There Thumbs we go. up. She, she really is doing a fine job today. Absolutely fine job. Um, yeah, Eolin. It was uh, it was a lot. A lot of 1 HP action. But yeah, so... There are ways to, to mitigate that. To, to make things easier in a sense. But it does require quite a bit of tactics and time and being in the right place and yeah combat combat isn't recommended uh i'd say if you're if you're coming up against someone that has freshly turned um more often than not the best survival strategy is to get away and that kind of runs counterintuitive to how most players play tabletop role-playing games you play them like you're the hero right from the start that you're gonna fight but the best strategy sometimes is to run is to get away and that can be a difficult kind of mind shift um sometimes there isn't an option to run but the one thing that we have that is an advantage to us versus those that are infected or the dead we have intelligence and they don't um well at least at the start that is but um that is something that we can use against them 
yeah yeah that's true that's true twitch um yeah you can be in the wrong place at the wrong time or the right place um you kind of get a chance to um to survive um Ilya, i mean i i, I kind of miss my hair as well um it is in an in-between stage at the moment it is kind of it's all, it's all kind of growing out it's difficult to see from here but it's um well i mean all my sides are completely back to my normal color so yeah it's a, it's a, it's a lot at the moment <laughs> but yeah uh oh dear zenko magicalism um i am wanting to get magicalism back on the go um uh, we will get there we will certainly get there i'm going to try and dive back into that in the coming week my recording times are a little bit shorter than they would usually be they're actually better than they were shock horror uh, i'm not actually at the place where i was at before i'm back at my folks place uh which is good because i'm away from all the construction noise so yay there's that um that and i think actually the construction probably wouldn't be happening at the moment now because of the lockdown but i guess you never know they could be classed as being essential services so i'm pretty sure builders are still building i think sleaf thank you thank you and thank you to pringles that is a good point um there is now a zealand subreddit so for anything when it comes to zealand if you want another place to be able to share that to experience it strategies or stories um whatever you will scenarios anything that you want if you've got your own recordings or your own material that you want to share there chuck it up there on the subreddit you have a good time <laughs> ben oh i don't know if that's a uh, yeah mm, okay I'll, I'll take it i'll take it as something a uh, republic ben lord so for those of you who might have missed it we have just started a ban lord series we're following william uh william ector um through a knight's tale uh and i am having a lot of fun with mountain blade um i might try and see whether it's possible if we could get that to two episodes a week we'll just kind of see how that flows at this stage it's going to be coming out every i think i think i think it's wednesday it will be tuesday for most of the world if not wednesday so yes i believe so uh so we will be getting that once a week and each of those episodes will be around about a um around about an hour long give or take um i feel like i've got some of the issues that were causing stuttering uh sorted weirdly enough it is an audio related issue um yeah it's weird just changing changing the um the end game audio bitrate just down slightly gets rid of so much stuttering and loading in the game and it's just one of those weird things where it is early access so there's a chance that there are going to be weird things like that when it comes to optimization it's definitely not optimized at the moment but um it should be recordable um better than it was and that and what what's tough is that it wasn't stuttering for me while i was playing so it was actually obs the recording software i had that just didn't seem to like the game so i'm gonna go back to shadow play to see how that's going to uh play for lack of a better word and there we go yeah uh Erlen, i'm really glad that you're enjoying ritual cast believe me we have a lot of fun recording that and um we put a lot of effort and time into our characters and the directions that they're going in and um yeah i'm excited to see where the story's going to go because right now it's at a a wild place and a lot's happened already so yeah I, I really do enjoy seeing um different theories about characters and all the rest um so please do keep them coming um have i ever played call of cthulhu i haven't i haven't but i've always wanted to i've heard um puff and forest's stories on youtube about it and it's always got me really excited about wanting to play it i did watch um the critical role one shot of it as well but um yeah i i think it could be a lot of fun to play especially with that whole you know not being a big hero just being someone that's kind of whisked up and uh yeah stuck in a bad situation <laughs> yeah um aaron how long do i think i will keep kenshi going um hmm 
I guess we'll see. Um, I, I think, on, honestly, I do think the main goal of the current series is to defeat the Holy Nation. Uh, it's not so much to go after some of the other factions. I do want to do more with Kenshi. Um, I did say a while ago that I really did want to try and run with like a, you know, Master of the Wolves type thing. It's going to be a difficult one to do because if you get downed, you're kind of screwed because dogs, they can't medic you. <laughs> they can't wrap a bandage on you. But um, yeah, I would really want to go for like a Beastmaster uh, type of playthrough for that. So <laughs> yeah, that, that that would be my intention after the current series has, has run its course. But um, yeah, we've obviously had a setback and that setback is going to take a while to build back up from, like probably quite a while. So a lot of what's going to happen now in Kenshi is going to be that recovery, that building that, uh, building the Unbroken to be that much stronger. Uh, so that they can go back into it to, yeah, really mess things up. Uh, Grayson Davis's, uh, Grayson Davis's, yeah, Davis, Davis. Um, yes, uh, kind of lone wolf, but not a lone wolf. There'll be many wolves, um, a master of the wolves, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I'm just catching up here. Um, I haven't done any live RP. Um, the closest thing we've kind of come to that is, uh, before, before Zealand was the recorded version of it, um, occasionally we would actually go outside to some of the areas that we were in just to get a bit of perspective of where we were. Um, because, I mean, you don't often need to bring a lot of things with you to be able to do that, so, yeah. Nanania, thank you very much for the super chat. What does Trident work with and can we call William Will the Swift? Uh, also, does your parents like games? Um, I don't I don't know if I can comment on Triton's work without um his permission. Uh but uh if you if you want to know, you can you can totally ask him. Um He is on Twitter and he is on the Discord as well, so you can hit him up there. Uh yeah, just for his own privacy I won't I won't answer it, but uh, there we go. Sleeth, thank you very much once again for that super chat. Uh, poking Janet one more time before I go out for groceries, <laughs> social distancing and all that. Avlegion, true to Rigan, and making Janet suffer. Indeed. Sleef, thank you very, very much. Um, and Nanania, you can totally call Will William Will Swift. Yeah, I encourage it, in fact. Um, and, yeah, I mean, my parents don't play any games, per se, but I think they can still enjoy them. And have a pretty good idea of what I do now. Hmm. Yes. Stay safe, Sleeth. Watch out for zombies. Please do. Please do. Ah, oh dear. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> um, have I watched Seth? He does a Call of Cthulhu tabletop reviews. No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, but I probably will look into that because, um, yeah, I do want to see more of, um, yeah, more of that. Definitely. <laughs> ah, dear. Um, if you haven't had a chance to catch the Bannerlord video yet, I highly recommend you do check it out. It was a lot of fun. It is still, um, it's a little janky, uh, unfortunately because of some of the recording issues that I had, but uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, making that and William is a he's he's a tough lad. He's a tough lad. He did pretty damn well starting off Grayson, thank you. Thank you. Mm. What mutation tree do you plan dust to go on? I was actually looking at that just last night um, and I made a little bit of a list of um, potentials just here uh, the, one of the main ones is Elf A, but finding the Elf A uh, recipe is really difficult. We do need to find a standpipe maintenance log. I'm pretty sure that we had access to it in the previous season. I can't remember. I can't be 100% sure. Um, but uh, yeah, for us to find that, it is going to be a little bit difficult for us to find. But the ones that we have access to at the moment that I think could be promising are Bird feline, beast, slime, and troglobite. Troglobite? Troglodyte? Is it troglodyte or troglobite? 
I think it might be troglobite. But the troglobite one is interesting because there are quite a few things in there that could be beneficial to Dusk. Um, now, when I say those mutation trees, I don't mean pushing into the threshold of them, so going over, but there are useful mutations within them, so yeah. So that, that's, the, that's the plan at this stage. Those are the ones that we can kind of work with until we can find Alpha to be able to push on past, but it is better than it was. It's still not amazing, but um, yeah, it is It is certainly better than, than it was before. Um, but yeah, trogl troglodyte, troglodyte is, um, yeah, there's some good stuff in there. There's some really quite decent stuff. Um, we are going to be, we are going to be trying to push to being more ranged focused um, more often than not. I do want to try and gear Dusk to be more of an archer. Um, we will have heavy firepower for when we need it, but just for on the fly, we want to have that really good, um, really good bow skill. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Nanania, you are correct. It is going to be our Lotum time very, very soon. Yes. Um, we will not get into Game of Thrones <laughs> at this stage because I will talk about it for the rest of the town hall. And that's fine. That's fine. But, um, yeah, there are many different mutation trees that we can go into. We're not going to be doing any of them right at this second because, um, we're in a position where we're a little bit further away from home and we have quite a bit of exploration to do. If you missed the last episode of, of Dusk's Tale, uh, there is a lot for us to accomplish at this stage. I am going to um, head back and grab some equipment. Oh, it is Bite. See, there we go. I thought it was Troglobite. I know, which is weird, because you think it would be Troglodyte. But yeah, for some reason, it is Troglobite. Um, yeah. Underground dwelling things. So, there we go. But, um, yeah. There, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot for us to do. We have two labs that are right by. We have a proper science lab, which that might have the things that we need to be able to accomplish Elf A and other potential mutation streams, branches. Yes, branches. It is a tree. Um, so I'm I'm excited to see what the new science labs are going to be like because we've experienced the lab, and the lab is cool, and there's a lot of good stuff we can get in there. But yeah. We're going to have a little bit of trouble because we only have a very, very small boat and bringing stuff back on that's going to be a little bit more difficult. So we'll probably have to expand that boat before we try and make our way back across that lake. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying Cataclysm at the moment. Um, yeah, just, just the current mission uh, string that we're on with Dusk is a lot of fun. The hub stuff seems to be really, really cool. I'm excited to see where it goes. A lot of you are very, very nervous about this mission, and that makes me excited because I do like to challenge Dusk, and um, I feel like we might have quite the challenge up our sleeve. And yes, it is time to announce our Lotum. If you don't know what the Lotum is, it is the Legionnaire of the Month. It is one of you that has gone above and beyond in some form or fashion. And our Lotum this month, unfortunately I don't have a picture of them because I wasn't able to find it, but our Lotum for this month is Quien. If you haven't seen any of Quien's art yet, I highly recommend you go check out the fan art section on the Discord. The link to the, to the Discord is in the description just just down there and the little drop down thing there if it's on your phone then you've got to turn it sideways and flip on down but yeah you'll find it you'll be able to find Quien there Quien has done a decent amount of art for Dusk's Tale and if you have seen the thumbnail you will recognize that uh, specific piece of art so Quien thank you for all of your fantastic fan art it is much appreciated and I think the Legion enjoys it just as much as I do so Thank you. You are our Lotum for the month of March. Hua. Yes, and thank you very much for that Discord link there, Duck. Yes, indeedy. I didn't do a drum roll. What's wrong with me? Post drum roll. And it's not a very good one. I can't even wake up Triton beneath me anymore. What can we say? What can we say? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a picture. Um, I did try to scour for one, but, um, yeah, I couldn't find one for Quien. <laughs> uh, the, the one that I did have on, on Discord is, uh, an amalgamation of memes. 
So <laughs> I, I don't know if that um, that 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 represents Quien as Quien would want, but yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yes. Applause is all around. Applause, applause, applause. Hmm. Yeah, the diet here has been around for a little while now, but it's, um, yeah, <laughs> it needs some work. It is going to be re -dyed, um, as soon as the lockdown's finished, and, um, well, I guess we'll see where things are by that stage. We won't know for certain. Things are looking better slowly but surely in New Zealand, but, um, obviously, still need to be cautious. Um, how is Skyrim and Fallout coming along? I haven't touched Fallout for a little bit, but I have been jumping back into Skyrim with the intention to create a series using Enderall. Uh, we aren't quite at the point where Leon's Tale is going to be able to come back. Unfortunately, I am waiting for a very specific mod to be complete before we do jump into that season, which more than likely will be a elongated season that will be the final season. I... I can't say 100% whether or not it will be, but um, yes, that is why we've had a little bit of a, well, more than a little bit of a wait in between. I didn't think it would be this long, but um, unfortunately it is kind of, yeah, looking to be that way. Um, Jedi Master Yoda, um, <laughs> Fallout Dust, yes, actually, I am wanting to do some, with, something with dust, and that is after... Akira has finished. So once we finish the kind of string that we're on right now for um, Frost, we are going to be doing Dust. Um, so I'm excited to see what that's going to be like and, and as to what kind of character that we might start off in. So yes, we, we have that. We have that in the future down the line. I've really been wanting to get back into RimWorld recently, just craving to play it, uh, and obviously because of royalty, it could be a lot of fun, so yeah, I feel like we could do a King Rikon. Start from, uh, uh, start from small, try and, try and build it to be something a little bigger, but yeah, I guess, I guess we'll see. Um, it, it, it has good potential to be a Let's Relax, um, yeah, I, I do like the idea of chopping it up a little bit more, because um, I guess RimWorld can be, there's a lot of planning that goes into RimWorld as well. And I and I find it not as entertaining, but yeah. I Ca Twitch, Captain Twitch, I do really enjoy Elliot as well. Elliot is a character that I, I often want to go back to in some form. Um, maybe we will experience Elliot in Dust, in, in, in New Vegas, or, or, or at the very least a version of Elliot. I guess we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, um, the Star Wars, the Star Wars version of RimWorld was a lot of fun. I mean, that was our last big series that we did with RimWorld, but um, yes, soon, soon. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, RimWorld is a very rewarding game. It is. It really is. Um, Grayson, yeah, I, I, I think for me it's got to be Dusk as well, just because of um, the journey that she's been on, the friends that she's made along the way, the friends that she's lost. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know poor Elliot is just... It's one of those things. I, I, did, see a, I did see a comment the other day. Um, I, I, I can't remember if it was a comment or if it was something that I saw on Reddit, where it was someone that was saying that... Um, They'd taken narcolepsy in in Cataclysm and had fallen asleep just after pulling the pin on an incendiary grenade and had fallen asleep on the said grenade and burnt to death. Some of these things happen in Cataclysm. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it happens. So, yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Hadarak, maybe you're right. Elliot's, um, yeah, clambered out of that vehicle and is now one of those survivor zombies that's out there roaming, roaming the fields. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, Grayson, you're on a medieval Call of Cthulhu Let's Play for RimWorld. That does sound like a lot of fun. I'm very tempted to do a full medieval style, um, especially for royalty. I feel like it would just make a lot of sense. Um, so, yeah, I mean, 
I'd, I'd like that. I'd, I'd like to do a medieval version. I could see that being a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Could be Twitch. Could be. Oh. Yeah, Michael. I kind of like that. Yeah. A wandering, a wandering mind. Yeah. I mean, he did have a lot of similarities to Dusk, that's for sure, so, yeah. Medieval Zealand, hey. What, I mean, like, Medieval Zealand is kind of like, without too many spoilers, it's kind of like the third era within the, the book. So we effectively have two eras, sorry, three eras. The first one is the fall, the second is Terra Mortis, which is around about 10 to 15 years after the fall, and then New Genesis, which takes place 100 to 150 years after the fall. So, yeah, New Genesis is is kind of very much like medieval Zealand, to a degree. <laughs> yeah. Mm, getting medical treatment would be a lot more uh, difficult. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nanania, when will I have my next... Next, let's relax. Not sure. I do want to do a little bit more Red Dead. I've been craving that recently, so yeah. Grayson, will I ever play Dwarf Fortress? 100%, definitely. I think once Dwarf Fortress has its Steam release, I'll try and do something with it here on the channel. I really want to do something with Adventure Mode. Adventure Mode just calls to me, and it's and it's the one version of, of Dwarf Fortress that I've played the most. I haven't played too much of it, but I've played enough of it to know that I really, really, really enjoy it, and doing a story with that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, Eolin, we would 100% have to roll up new characters for that. Or, alternatively, you, you could play as descendants of your own characters. So, that's a possibility. Okay. Jedi Master Yoda, I will check out the update. I think I can smell bacon. My god. It smells delicious. <laughs> Binum boy, now's a great time to catch up on Zealand. Um, <laughs> there, there, there. Yeah, a lot's happened so far, and yep, can't say I'm exactly happy with the current position and predicament that we're in. But well, there we go. Ah oh dear. All right, Melon, enjoy the birthday. Happy birthday to you for then. Enjoy yourself. Have a good one. <laughs> they just released more pictures on Steam. I will be sure to check it out, Grayson. I will, I will. I do remember Noah. I do remember Noah Twitch. Um, I do, I do. Um, when is Noah coming back? I don't know. I, it's a little bit more difficult for her to come back in, in, in some way, but uh, I mean the thing is even Bran could make a revival um, Just because of how he was but um, Yeah, we'll leave that story for another time <laughs> What is my degree of separation from the bacon? I'm not sure it depends on how much there is hmm. <laughs> My degrees of separation from the bacon that's a little bit more to work out. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be that much. I think I think it would be like one degree of separation, probably. No, it has to be two, right? If it's someone else. Yeah, I think so. Uh, which is your favorite character in Cataclysm? I got. I, I have to say it's Dusk at this stage. Um, yeah, just just because of just because of everything that she's been through so far. And um, yeah, and where I think she could go from here. Hmm. Yeah, but it's been a, it's been a long time since that. Been a long time since Noah. That was years ago. I was actually just yesterday going back through some of the first videos that I recorded on Cataclysm, just seeing how different it is. Um, I mean, Cataclysm looks really weird back then, um, but also just the presentation, the way that I yeah record it, is very very different as well. Um, I do I do 
think it's a little fun having face cam there, but I know it's a very, it's a, it's, it's a hot debate thing. I know some people really enjoy seeing reactions and for other people it can be a little bit too distracting. It takes away from the game. Um, so, yeah. I see we're having good bacon discussion in the chat. That's good. <laughs> I, uh, I support this. I support this. Ah, uh, dear. <laughs> Luxury mumbles. Luxury. Uh, Eolin, yes, I, I'm kind of in between places at this stage. Um, we were meant to be moving kind of, I think, just the weekend that's been... No, no, weekend before that, actually. Um... Yet, because of the lockdown, we can't. So we're kind of we're kind of stuck at this stage until lockdown's finished. Um, yeah, there is a place that we're going to be moving into, but uh, just need to wait until we can actually leave the house to do so. Yeah. So everyone in the country is kind of stuck where they are at this stage. Um, you played Elliot during a Zealand one shot. Nice. <laughs> that's cool that's cool I like it oh yeah for sure yeah go for it twitch I got no ownership of that name it's actually cool to see it um, you know in other places <laughs> have I considered checking out Fallout Horizon Horizon's the it's the mod for New Vegas correct it is for New Vegas right um, I, hmm, I don't know. I, I, I'll probably look into it. Um, I think I originally considered it as being a potential for Logan, um, to, to go through, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent yet. I think I'd have to probably go through a little bit of it beforehand. Oh, right. No horizon. Ah, cool. I was thinking of something else for Fallout 4. No, sorry for, for New Vegas. Right. Um, I no, I don't know what horizon does actually. Um, I think I've seen screenshots of it before, but it didn't call to me as much as um, as much as Frost did. So, yeah, I haven't um, considered doing that yet. But um, yeah, could be something for us to investigate in time. Um. <laughs> Nice username. Um, question being, uh, will Logan be coming back before Ash? I think Ash will be coming back before Logan um, at this stage. Just because um, there is, there is, yeah, it's been a little while since we've had Ash. And um, yeah, we're going to be jumping back into that one. It's emotionally draining. <laughs> it's a lot. But um, I really do enjoy that story. And Fallout 4 as an engine to work with is a lot of fun. Um, so yes, we will be getting that back um, shortly. It's more than likely going to be after I move and get kind of settled into the new place. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we're able to stream today as well because um, yeah, the internet can be a bit of you know touch and go. But yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We'll be able to get that uh, sorted soon. I can I can understand that Logan yeah I mean it's 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 something that I made a fair while ago and my recording style changed a lot throughout it the later seasons are a lot different from the earlier stuff especially season one I struggle to go back and watch season one now there are moments of it where I'm like okay I'm cool I'm happy with how that went but other times yeah <laughs> I, I am I am still very happy with what it was for the time when it came out though. What's that noise you hear in the background? PC fans? I don't know. It could it could be a fan, quite possibly, or it could just be atmospherics. Uh no, I do agree with that as well, Twitch. Definitely. They are monstrous at times. <laughs> of 
quite possibly, quite possibly, Ben, quite possibly. But look, we are getting closer to the end of the town hall. We've got around about 10 to 12 minutes left. So if you have any questions that you want to get out before the end, I do recommend firing them through now. And I'll do my best to answer them in something of a lightning round. So start to flow those through, and I will do the best I can. I will endeavor to answer them. What would Dusk's class be? What in D&D? Hmm. I think some form of ranger. Actually, no. Hmm. That's tough. That's tough. Maybe, maybe like a ranger rogue. Possibly. Quite possibly. Yeah. Oh, in SCP. Right, right, right. Um, I don't know. I think that's harder to ask. Hmm. Um... Migi, I do know Pathologic. I haven't played it, and I, ha I haven't seen too much of it, but I'm aware of it. Um, I've seen a few YouTubers playing through it, but I haven't played through it myself yet. But, um, yeah. We'll see on that. Bionically Challenged. What type of army makeup do you see your Bannerlord playthrough having? Well, it's probably going to be a little while before William has an army. Um, but it'll be, it'll be varied. You know, it's not just going to be one set... Um, on set grouping but uh yeah we'll see we'll see where where the story takes william but um yeah i've got some plans for that boy he just needs to uh keep doing what he's doing now uh earning renown earning coin and um we'll see what we get to from there mm. uh will i remake dusk's followers with the debug menu um it depends. It depends. Dusk is in a very different place now. We still don't fully understand exactly what happened to Dusk, but as many of you have theorized, it might have something to do with Bran and uh, something that he did during his stint. At this stage, um, Urda, William's end goal is to earn fame and renown he wants to be a famed tournament fighter um above above anyone else really um but that's something that isn't going to um fulfill i think and uh we'll see we'll see where the um where it goes from from where we're at now but his focus at this stage is firmly going to be set on trying to trying to earn that uh yeah, that praise that he desires. Mm. Hugh the Hand Jackman is a fantastic name. <laughs> and I miss Hugh the Hand Jackman. We had Hugh the Hand Jackman, the, <laughs> the wonderful Jack in, uh, in Dusk's uh, first season. Yeah. <laughs> Bynum Boy, any new series planned? Yes, there there is Enderall that is planned, uh, which I'm working on currently. And um, yeah, I think we've got a fun a fun story planned for that. I have no idea where the story's gonna go, so that's kind of fun not knowing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna run with the not knowing this time and, and, and see what that's gonna be like. <laughs> it can be a challenge, but I mean, me knowing as much as the character sometimes is, is refreshing. Sometimes I don't need to know it all. Uh, what color will my hair be when I get out of lockdown? It will be, it'll be more of a silver. Right now it's kind of gone to a strange kind of blonde still. But yeah, it'll be, it'll be back to silver. Yeah. We will see. Resident Evil for an After Dark revamp. I don't know. I mean, I've never really been... I, it, w strange. I've never really been into the Resident Evil games. For some reason, they, they never really called to me when I was younger. And, yeah, I... Hmm. I don't know. It could work, though. Quite possibly. It is fun. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Aeolin, yes, Forgotten Stories. 
is the alternative name for Enderol, I think. I believe. Yes. Yeah, Hatterak, it'd be, it'd be less of a voiced roleplay. I think that would be more of a, let's relax. <laughs> well, no, it wouldn't be relaxing, but, you know, that's how most of our let's relaxes go. They're not exactly relaxing. Yeah. In terms of let's relax, though, I think we will be having some more Red Dead before long. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see where that goes. <laughs> Getting some Metal Gear up in here. It would, it probably would not be re uh, relaxing. Um, Nanania, last question. Who has the hardest voice? Um, undoubtedly the Doom Slayer. The Doom RP that I did was draining. Absolutely draining. Um, I think shortly followed by either... Yeah, I think, I think all of the outlasts were difficult to do. I did hyperventilate multiple times and pass out on the keyboard just from breathing so heavily. Um, so that was a little difficult to do. But I, it was nowhere near as draining as the Doom Slayer was. That was, um, that was a lot. That was a lot. It, it, I couldn't voice much else after doing that just because it was so taxing on my vocal cords. Yeah. Oh! Just random games. I, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're going to check it out. I highly recommend you do. I'm, I'm probably most proud of the Outlast role plays, just because they were great character journeys to go on, and they aren't. They aren't incredibly long as well. So I feel like it's a concise story that's told within, you know, a handful of episodes. But yeah, I appreciate you checking that out. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, Erda, yes, he will be back. He will be back in 2020. Logan, Logan shall return. Let's role play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Pringles. Yeah, I feel like that'll be a bit of a stretch. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we will, we will definitely be getting Logan back. And I believe that will be his final season in Fallout 3 before we return to New Vegas for his final, his final, his final journey. Which would be really sad, because Logan is where everything began. Um, and, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to feel good, but it'll also be sad. It'll be bittersweet when, when that is all said and done. But uh, all things must eventually come to an end. We decide whether it's good or bad. Yes. <laughs> Alright, folks, we are down to the final wee minutes. Erlen, I'm glad you like the shirt. It is from Dangerfield, a store here in NZ. I think it's in Australia as well. But, um, yeah, I really, really like the fit and style. It's damn comfortable. Really, really comfortable. Yeah, I think you're right, Captain Twitch. It's, uh, it's close. Uh, Jedi Master, yes, I still have the old saves. Um, believe me, it is a freaking nightmare to um <laughs> to get that thing to run an absolute freaking nightmare but we're gonna get it running again we're gonna pick up from where he was and well he'll have the memory of everything that's happened to him before so we'll have two very different logans that are melding together to create something entirely new ryan um we do still have the chat after this if you head to the Discord, I will be posting a link in the Town Hall chat there to a Hangout, which we're going to be having. So if you are a patron, please do pop along to that post-Town Hall chat, but we'll just hang out and, yeah, continue this on. It is a After Dark of sorts. <laughs> Unscripted. Yes. Will Frost continue after Akira? No, I feel like I feel like once Akira's story is complete, we will have explored everything that there kind of is to see um, in Frost. So we will be we will be um, starting dust in New Vegas after that. So yeah, yes, Hatterak, it can get really weird in that hangout. That is that is entirely true. Yeah, uh, Bynum Boy. 
I do want to return to Project Zomboid at some point as well. The new updates to it are pretty damn cool. I actually installed it just um, the other week to give it a little bit of a play. Um, I am really not good at that game anymore. I need to do. I need to spend a fair bit of time with that to to learn how the new systems work. But yes. Um, Aolin, funnily enough, well, the series alone has, has seen quite a few new people popping along to it. So, yeah, <laughs> the lockdown has brought a few people to Zealand. Smilo Sabercat, thank you for the thank you. A chest random games do you ever get tired of thinking about all the games you want to play i mean honestly i would i would just love to have more time in the week if i could double the week make it a 14 day week that would be great um obviously it doesn't work like that but um yeah having having more time to to create more would be fantastic but um there are only so many hours in the day unfortunately so it is a tough decision to decide what gets made and what doesn't but yeah there we are inania thank you for that super chat much appreciated. And I'm doing my best to say, stay safe. <laughs> Trying to. Yes, Erlen, I do need a TARDIS. Love you, Kiwi. Heart, stay safe. Um, Captain Twitch, I have tried writing. In fact, I wrote a whole heap in Zealand. I've got a lot of short stories and material in there that um, I'm really quite proud of, actually. I find writing to be insanely difficult to do, um, and I always want to start again whenever I am writing, but um, because of deadlines, I was able to push things out and actually get some things on paper, and um, I'm really happy with how that all turned out. Tatters, thank you very much for that super chat. I think you're probably going to be the last one in here. That is much appreciated. Hmm, good. I am so excited for dust. Don't worry, it is not nearly as buggy as frost. Yes. Less than three. Yes, I'm probably going to do a fresh install of Fallout New Vegas somewhere else separate from the Logan one because the Logan one is just like it's held together with um, hopes and dreams. That's all that's holding it together. So <laughs> I hope that it's all going to kind of be going when we get back to that. But Legion, we've reached the end of the town hall. I want to thank every single one of you for coming along to this town hall. And I want to thank all the patrons who have continued to support the channel throughout this time. It is incredibly, uh, you, you make this possible, 100% make this possible, wouldn't be possible without you, especially at this time. I really, really do uh, appreciate all of you sticking with me, watching this, uh, this mess that I'm chucking up here during it, uh, <laughs> and trying to make it as, 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 you know, trying to keep the quality as close to what I was producing before as possible. Um, I got a bit of a janky setup, but it's still kind of working, <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly. But yeah, thank you for coming along to the town hall. If you're watching this in the future, thank you for watching all the same. Try and make it along to the next one. For now, though, I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. Patrons, come and join me for the chat afterwards. And until next time, stay tuned.